Good morning. This is Dr. Matthew Dunn with a very special episode of the future of email. My guest today, speaking with me from Nipro, Ukraine, is Dmitry Kudrenko, uh, CEO of multiple companies in the email space. Dmitry, it's really a delight to, to connect and talk with you again. Hi. Hi. Thank you for having me. Same thing to you, Matthew, and to all we, your uh, audience. We spoke, uh, I, it's very memorable to me. We spoke uh, five months ago or so, and you were, you were apologizing for the quality of the light because you were dealing with a live air raid. And uh, here we are five months later, and it's, it's, still, it's still wartime situation in Ukraine, and you're still keeping your companies going and your customers serviced while you, while you wait, as you told me. You literally wait to be able to to flee with your family if necessary, right? Yeah, yep. Yeah. But we do a lot. We do a lot to say to organize our company. Uh, yeah. to work. Some some families who can move uh, to other countries. It's about twenty five percent. Wow. Some move to safest place uh, somewhere in Ukraine locally. Uh, some of our employees uh, have a service in the uh, army, uh, in the military, for the military service. Mm -hmm. uh, so we have to support all the families of people who uh, our employees, yes. all Ukraine, and especially uh, we very, very, very dedicated to keep safe all our customers. Yes. And uh, wow. It's, it's, it's really difficult. It's really difficult to imagine the 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 stress the emotional strain that you're you and your your team are grappling with every day you were you were filling me in on the on what it's like for your kids with with school like how do you learn when you're constantly in the air raid basement yeah <laughs> i don't think that it's possible to have any educational process in the basement so yeah so uh, we uh we like uh when you have uh, about 10 air attacks every day, so yeah. you don't uh, take uh, them into account so hardly as it was in the very first days. So maybe it's bad, but mm -hmm. it's how our brain works. So it's just uh, normal, just like a regular event. So, okay, air attacks, we can sleep. It's bad, I know, but still in our place where we are in the Dnipro, it's pretty safe. There is no, like a bombarder of civil objects, sometimes very rare. So uh, it's for us, we just staying, working, but trying to do it in a safe place. Some place uh, in a house where we have uh, two walls uh, right. uh, or something. So there are a lot of rules we know, we never have to know, but at the moment, in this time, in this century, in Europe, we know the rule of two walls that yeah. it's just finds the safest place where there is no window when uh, you can uh, be safer than in just on the street. Wow. Wow. Just continue to operate, continue to work. Yeah. And, 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 you know, yeah, Stripo, your other companies, Ukraine as a whole, like uh, astonishingly still running business and, and, and participating in the, you know, economy of the world. Most of your customers are, Outside Ukraine, correct? Yes, most of uh, and it's a uh, very big luck for us. Yeah, because it is uh, very uh, the business in Ukraine is not very active at the moment, and we yes. feel also our responsibility uh, to keep going uh, for supporting our customers and to give a work and cash flow, mm -hmm. which is vitally important uh, to mm -hmm. use here in mm -hmm. Ukraine. And to support families here and to support Amy and to support, just support life. Yeah. Yeah. And, and the, the city where you live near pro, uh, quite a few, quite a few people have fled there from other parts of Ukraine. I believe I saw your post. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Since it's it relatively safe. Um, I don't want to spend all the time and I, I would be fascinated to do it, but I want to, I want to talk about uh, your businesses and, and help people understand what the various businesses do in the uh, email and marketing space. But, uh, <laughs> you know, y nobody has forgotten 
on what's happening to you there and what that asshole Putin has unleashed on your country. Um, there, there's, there's going to be, there's going to be an end to it. Thank you very much. Very appreciate it and feel it. And it's very important for us to understand and feel it from the very first day, uh, of the war. So I receive it and continue to receive, which is important. Not only first day, I just continue to feel and receive a lot of warm words, support, any kind of support. It's not necessarily just a war. Sometimes it's money. Sometimes it's just what we can do for you. Or maybe you have a family we can host in our country. Yeah. And uh, I have also permission to leave Ukraine. You know, in Ukraine, uh, the only man who has three children or some as a special condition can leave Ukraine. So sometimes I leave for some events. Uh, it was uh, months ago in Netherlands. Yes. Uh, where I met uh, a lot of people from different countries. They did so many, so many things to support us. And I just feel it and support us. When I return back, I just sharing all the messages I have is important. So yes, thank you for mentioning. Thank you for remembering. Thank you for doing because of it the, all. The you had you had built you and your your team had built quite a remarkable set of businesses before this all broke out. And as we as I mentioned earlier, most of your customers, uh, well, customers spread out all over the world. I mean, you you call it luck, I call it foresight and vision and things like that. But uh, has it been? What have what what have been the challenges in continuing to do business globally? as you've got explosions in the backyard. Yeah, so it's easier to do a business globally. The biggest pain, if you had a company who did a local business, mm -hmm. oh, so yeah. it's very hard to scale a local business to the global new net networking. There is no trust. Nobody knows you. A yeah. lot of uh, legal things you have to change. Yeah. Mindset, everything. You just have to understand the market. So it's the biggest problem. If you a global company from the first day, it's much easier because of you, you have a differentiation. You have a customers from all the countries. And we felt it even in COVID time, when one company has a lockdown, other companies uh, works, uh, companies, sorry, uh, I mean, uh, countries. Mm -hmm. So they continue to operate and then they close as uh, countries uh, recovers. So we didn't feel very big uh, changes uh, when uh, there is any global crisis. Okay. And especially here, when the war started, we had a lot of uh, customers from Russia mm -hmm. and Belarus. We just stopped, uh, we yeah. closed all contracts and stopped yeah. ability to pay us. Yeah. But it doesn't change. Uh, so it's pretty big uh, shares, but we also changed the, like a business model changes the pricing and we even had more uh, customers, more active, we, we continue to grow from month to month. Wow. That's wonderful. Yeah. Even in this case. Yeah. And we continue, we, we extended the team significantly. Yeah. We invested into system much more than earlier. First of all, for several reasons. First, we had our resources for this from other projects, for example, mm -hmm. uh, we spent, uh, and we feel that there is only the hard time. Uh, always make companies and people stronger mm -hmm. if they continue to fight. Mm -hmm. And it's what we feel. We just have to act more actively. Uh, we have to understand that every day we spend, uh, it, it, we do the best we can. Mm -hmm. uh, earlier, we said, okay, we can do this. We can maybe deadline, we can postpone this deadline. Maybe we can, I don't know, do it later. Now there is nothing for this. So we have to do only most important thing now, every day, yeah. without the rest. And there is no option. We, we don't have a vacations. We don't have a work holiday. It's because of, <laughs> you have nothing of it. You're just yeah. working hard and that's all. Yeah. I uh, apologize. I've got to put a better, better blind on this window. I've got sun smacking me in the, uh, in the face and it's totally flaring the picture out. Um, you, at, at, at heart, your, your, um, at heart, your, your company build systems and software, the, the concentration to do that has to be a real challenge with the events that, you know, keep unfolding around your team. 
Yeah. Yeah. Uh, it's, uh, you know, first, uh, we already had an experience working with the COVID time uh, yeah. when a lot of things it changed. When people, if before the, before COVID, we all was in an office. We don't, we didn't really like, and I still don't like w- to work remotely. I like to see how people work, how they communicate, they can hear what happened, uh, even if you just, it's not message to you, at least you hear this and you are in contact. Yeah. You are in surrounding of people who work uh, with the same area, who think, who love it, and you feel it, and you mm-hmm. all the supper. And now, when somebody, I don't know, working from home and not Every time he has a condition for this, he has a children, he has a wife, he has a lot of people who are living with them. Maybe they travel into some other place. Yeah. It's hard. It's definitely yeah. hard. Yeah. But uh, uh, COVID did us a lot of, we already was prepared. Like uh, we, we had the new processes. Uh, yeah. we, had, uh, we already have some teammates we never saw because of we hired them remotely and they continue to work remotely. With that, Changed the processes. We have uh, uh, already had an employees from other countries, so we became international company uh, without uh, can work remote. And now in war time, it helped us a lot. Yeah, yeah. So uh, yeah. we just continue to work, and that's all. We that's... still keep our offices ready to be. Oh yeah, really. Uh, yeah, when I'm in Dnipro, I visit the uh, offices uh, just to speak with people who want to just see real people. Yeah, how would... yeah, that human contact, right? Yes. Yeah. So yeah, everything the, uh, the life is going on. So like yeah. life, life is going on. Um, would would you uh would you describe? Let's let's focus on Stripo for a bit because I'm particularly intrigued by yeah. uh. Uh, by what's happening with that company. Tell people what Stripo is and does. Oh. Yes, it's very easy because of, uh, Stripo is an email design platform. Okay. Uh, so uh, you can create a good looking professional design uh, easily and then export in one click to any system you use for sending. Okay. Okay. And uh, so working with a Stripo, we just uh, remove all routine things. We just standar- uh, stand- standardize all work. Uh, okay. And uh, we want marketer to be concentrating on marketing stuff, not on coding stuff, on the yeah. communication stuff, yeah. not on integration with a lot of different tools, uh, saving, opportunity, doing things. Uh, not to uh, looking for any uh, source for inspiration or learning things, how to do some I don't know how to use AMP or how to use annotation for Google or how to use preheater or, or in some special hidden preheater. So you don't need to read. We're trying to uh, create the platform where a marketer can focus on marketing without very advanced programming skills. Okay. From my understanding, without programming skills at all. Because at all. You, at all. Mark- and, and Stripo is both a standalone SaaS uh, product and embedded in other, other email systems, correct? It's, it's a SaaS product. Yeah. It's not standalone application, it's just a service. You can visit in your browser yeah, and yeah. create an email on the next part. And also it's another part of our business model mm-hmm. because of, we, uh, already had an experience working with a huge infra- email infrastructure and mm-hmm. editor is created like a tiny part of it. Mm-hmm. But we understood that it's always thing to do uh, there. It's there is no standard on the on the market. Outlook mm-hmm. works mm-hmm. completely yeah. different from Gmail or yeah. Apple Mail. Yeah, and everybody have to understand that. And there is no team dedicated for email design inside uh, the ESP platform because yeah. they have to think about deliverability, analytics, segmentation, gathering data, uh, omnichannel, a lot of things. Yeah. And we decided to have a team who focused full time only on email design. Mm-hmm. And uh, if ESP wants to uh, have the like a standard, standard design, some good solution, uh, which always updated and actual, so they can use uh, some third party. 
Mm -hmm. And that's how we decided not just to provide the service, but also very easily can be embedded as a plugin, as a right. standard, right. or white label into other solutions. Gotcha. Gotcha. And you've got, I believe I saw the figure seven, like 70, 70 ESPs. Oh, even more. More. Excellent. Excellent. And so, uh, you see, uh, we have 70 integration with different ESPs. So right. for users who log in into Stripe as a create email and then can export into, I don't know, and, a campaign mail, Gmail, 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 it doesn't matter. Yeah. Or even to Gmail or Outlook directly on even to, so which is, uh, integration, but also there are a lot of like a startup CRM system, ESPs who want to have a professional editor and they just use us as a white label. Yeah. Yeah. Some of them very big players, uh, I am just under NDA. I just don't want to uh, mention the big names. Uh, of the, but there are some of them, it's number one systems in the world who use our editor embedded, that's which awesome. is one for us. Yeah, that's awesome. That, and that's part of the growth that, uh, continued growth that you mentioned earlier is, uh, is securing, securing those relationships and figuring out where you fit into their ecosystem. Yeah. It, our way, uh, so, uh, one of our goal, like internal goal mm -hmm. to be a standard of a market. What it means by standardizing? It's just how people organize their role. So what they expect when they create an email, or maybe when you ask uh, in uproar, uh, just to order an email template. Yeah. How you think you would receive the result? Yes. It's just HTML or HTML with some brand guideline or just email in your system. Like, I don't know, like MailChimp yeah. or uh, so. We, uh, do a framework where like, uh, you expect to have all set of modules, uh, different, uh, examples, how to use template, PDF, HTML, uh, profile in Stripe, when you can export into any other system and a lot of supportive information you can get very easily. And certainly it has to work, uh, and you can have a report how it looks in Outlook, in Gmail, in Apple Mail, or other uh, platform very easily. Wow. A lot of things uh, is important. Or wow. what is master template? Stop me if I uh, speak <laughs> too much because <laughs> of, like, <laughs> not, not at all. It's, uh, it's, it's fascinating. And I love the, I love the passion, right? In the middle of everything else you're doing, you're like lasered in on, on, on how ridiculously difficult it is. To, to, to design an email, um, which people not in this space probably don't think about, but those in the space think about all the time, like, why is this so hard? Uh -huh. yeah, yeah. Let me just two words about like evolution, evolution. We are speaking about the, the future of email. And if now we would focus on the future of email design yeah. earlier, uh, to create a professional email, you have to, uh, HTML, you have to write HTML, you have to write it. The first uh, evolution was uh, when editor supported some snippets, some, mm -hmm. uh, some verification, some, uh, like if you saw uh, uh, customer IO uh, last month or this month uh, had a deal with, uh, they bought the parcel. Parcel, editor. yeah. Yeah. Uh, so the next way was a drag and drop. Drag and drop said, okay, you don't need to know the code. You can just use drag and drag button uh, text uh, block or I don't know, image block configure them. You don't need to understand what HTML is. You will have what you need, but you see a lot of people create inconsistent emails. So they just, uh, look, uh, not very professional <laughs> or you create the design, but, uh, your new employee created something that is not uh, consistent with your design, not correspond to your requirements mm -hmm. uh, that he broke something. Uh, so I think the next step, if it was code, then drag and drop, uh, that we don't need to operate with, uh, more blocks. We don't need to drag and drop buttons, text and images because of, it's not how you, your email looks like. You usually works with some like a modules, the informational block, like a product card or a blog post information or some announcement uh, mm -hmm. or I don't know which has, uh, already composition of these blocks. 
So it's like a module mm -hmm. and module should have like a parameters, which mm -hmm. from my understanding have to be very easily, you, you have to change the design, but leave the content, change the content, but leave the design and should have an ability to automate all these processes. In programming language, they call it like uh, uh, MVC pattern. If you know this, it's model yeah. view controller. Model view controller. Model. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Model is your data. View is how it looks, your HTML. And controller is a logic that gets data from your site automatically on put to, to your uh, design. Mm -hmm. So I think the next step of email building is how people would not operate with the blocks. They will operate with the modules, but first they have to prepare the modules or use in some library or extend them easily. Uh, and when you have a module, so you can much easier update all emails you have. Right. Think of, I don't know, 40 triggers. And for uh, back to school, uh, like uh, now, yeah, you would like to add your header and add in together with your logo, some, I don't know, pencil and pen, or I don't know, something. Yeah. Uh, you have to update 40 emails. Yeah. Yeah. What if you would update only the header and say, okay, put all headers there that use the same module and it can be done in, I don't know, in two minutes. Yeah. Yeah. Boy, yeah. I, uh, I, I, I see the applicability of that. So you're, you're sort of, you're, ex you're expanding the level of modularity and I'm, I'm seizing on your word, uh, modules, level of modularity in the email design system. So the marketer can think in terms of higher level abstraction and chunks of content, if you will, rather than this email template. Exactly. Exactly. It's what marketers have to do because of marketers just thinking about the audience, about the message, uh, yeah. not about, about the high level design, yeah. but not about how to uh, create the around corner in a button in Outlook. <laughs> oh. Yeah. 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 I mean, it's been, I, I, I don't design emails for a living, but, uh, it's been my observation that it's such a fragile task with a lot of the current editors that people have got to be pulling their hair out over such trivial things, but it's just, an, it was, what's, was the level of the technology for a good 20 years. Yeah. And also I would like to say that, uh, it's never worked. It never worked to add any innovation to your mail because of there is no standard. Yeah. And there are all many stakeholders around email. Yeah. Let's go. Yeah. Well, it's a, a ESP or CDP, it doesn't matter. The sender. It's a marketer who have to understand how to do <laughs> it. Uh, email client. And Google always do something new. Yeah. Uh, Microsoft always do something new. Yeah. There's new, the same thing, but do it differently. Yeah. Yeah. You have always a play with it. So this is for Outlook, this is for Apple, this is for Gmail. Yeah, yeah. And a year ago, uh, Google said, oh, a year ago, three years or four years ago, they started to do AMP. Yep. Yeah. Uh, so it's AMP, accelerate uh, mobile pages. They yep. did for pages and they thought, okay, now this technology we will apply for email, but it's not pages. So we will call it not AMP, but AMP. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so the AMP technology. But it was a Google who trusts Google. Nobody trusts Google because of they have a lot of new uh, projects and yeah. they keep a lot of projects. They kill a lot of projects, yeah. And so many money have to be invested to implement this into your system. So yes. nobody uses it. Hmm. They, okay, it's not a problem. They did AMP as an open source product. Mm -hmm. And they create like a first time I ever heard the alliance uh, between the... Uh, um, Yahoo and Google, and I don't want to speak about them now. Um, yeah. Mail dot are you? Yeah. yeah. So, uh, like a working group, and they thought, okay, we already did a lot. Only Apple have to join us, and we have a standard. And if you have your uh, email client, you can use the code for free. It's safe, but it adds new opportunity to create interactive emails, yeah. to create rich emails, to do real time personalization to do a lot of new things like much wider borders. So I was, I was hoping we'd stumble into this so that, so that you and I can ignore the world and focus on geek stuff for a minute. Um, 
You guys have made a, a pretty big bet in terms of company and resources in in building that environment where someone can design AMP for email uh, functions and and add them into their uh, into the modular email. So you've made a you've made a, a company bet in some sense on AMP for email. Fair assessment. <laughs> okay, uh, let's continue. Yes. Uh, so. I'm going to give you a thesis. My thesis is Apple will never turn on AMP for email. So it, it, it makes me cry. Uh, yes. Uh, yes. Never. Never. Unfortunately. Never. Yeah. Because, 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 I mean, you know, Apple be Google security, like you can think of a thousand different reasons, but net, net, it's just not going to happen. And I, I, I gotta, I gotta say. If I were in your shoes, I would be significantly concerned about Google's long-term support for AMP for email, because the numbers aren't there yet in terms of actual market use. So it was my, uh, kind of my mission. It was when I saw, okay, it's, yep. it's a really big step. It's a huge step. Uh, yeah. And, uh, I would never say that Microsoft and Google, uh, would be on the same place uh, with AMP, but Microsoft told that they support No, they're not. Not now. Not. not now, but they told that uh, they're supporting it. Uh, they were, and then they rejected it about a, almost yeah. a year ago. Yes, yes. But how they rejected? They thought, okay, we don't see a big interest. Yep. So we just freeze it, and we maybe one day we return maybe. it back when we have requests from customers. But how to have requests from customers? Yeah. I even at uh, some uh, events, for example, if would popular system like I don't know Mailchimp mm -hmm. would add support of AMP, much more people would use it. Yeah, yeah, that's fair. Yeah, uh, and maybe they would have more uh, requests. Yeah, so yeah. we should uh, be uh, have some critical uh, critical uh, number of, yep. of users who use it to uh, spread it globally. So my mission was. When uh, I only uh, found the information that AMP released, do whatever I can do uh, to uh, create this uh, number of uh, users, this critical number. Yeah, yeah. Uh, for supporting for more systems, and I think I did a lot because of a lot of systems who embed us. Yeah, uh, support AMP sure. because uh, I have uh, thousands of cases uh, how AMP is used. Yep. Uh, because of it, even create a new direction there, like a gamification. Yeah. Uh, that can be done only with um, mm -hmm. uh, some email. Mm -hmm. uh, and I use in all our triggers, um, that continue to use. Yeah. Is there, this is going to sound like a side question, it really isn't. Is there any sort of even informal um, industry association or, or set of colleagues who are all uh, on board and would like to see this evolution towards interactive email with AMP? Yes, yes. It was a working group, first of all. Okay. To right to do this. Okay. It was, you know, the Rebel was the first company that yes. was acquired to buy a Salesforce, yeah? Yes. And Salesforce implemented a bonded cards and the bonded views triggers with AMP, and it still works. It yeah. improves the version. It's not very important that not, not all the email clients support, but some support. Yeah. And it still improves conversion. Yeah. Then I see uh, for my customers. Yeah. Uh, especially if you're working in, uh, with, in Europe. Yeah. Earlier, uh, for Russia, it was only Gmail at my Yeah. But uh, I wish them not very good thing. So uh, in Europe, in Ukraine, there are a lot of people use Gmail. Mm -hmm. Some audiences uh, where you have white... Uh, customer base who support Gmail more than Apple. Yes, yes. But even if you have only 15% of Gmail, you still improve conversion. Right, right, right. Uh, the, the, the question is how much you pay for this. Right. Uh, you have to do extra work uh, mm -hmm. for working like uh, compatible. Uh, you have to prepare in twice more emails. Yeah, separate body parts. So my responsibility would to minimize this cost. So it should be the same price. It should be the same as create one email. You create AMP and HTML. Yeah. It's what we did for Stripe. Stripe, you create one email. 
mm-hmm. that automatically converts to AMP. Okay. But you can also put, you know, how you can do for mobile and desktop version. You can hide mobile and show uh, desktop version or yeah. hide desktop, show mobile. The same we do for AMP. Usually you have the same email with yeah. one block that would be displayed only for AMP. Yeah. So it's, and when you have a modules, you can reuse them. Yeah. Okay. From my understanding, yeah. it was the same, uh, like, uh, Elon Musk did with the, his rockets. He told, okay, <laughs> it's a very expensive thing to launch every new, uh, every rocket, every yeah. time new rocket. Yeah. Yeah. Would never uh, be uh, in a, like we uh, uh, use them in a for white uh, goals. So we have to reuse rocket parts, yes. and the, our idea to reuse the rocket how planes are reused. Yeah, yeah. The same for us when you create some uh, very clever interactivity when you create some amp blog, just reuse them. And maybe you don't need to create it. Just use what we created for you. Yeah. Yeah. If you just drag and drop, it costs you nothing, but improves conversion. Right. If it doesn't, uh, support it, yep. you can still, uh, improve your conversion. Yes. Yes. Maybe one day Apple would say, maybe one day, uh, the world is changing. You know, there are so new alliance, uh, there are so many things changed the uh, last uh, half of a year. Mm-hmm. The people start to collaborate. Mm-hmm. They don't understand that there are some compromises in some parts. Maybe one day the companies would uh, accept one strategy to move industry forward. Yeah, yeah that, that, that is the question. Um, my, my, my colleague and friend, uh, Nicholas Einstein at Netcore, who fortunately lives close to me, so I got to play golf with him. Net- Netcore, like you, is, has has really seen the potential of gamification and inter, interactivity in email, and and like as 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 you are, they're they're willing to back their bet, from what I can see, and and kind of push the boundary and say, let's go ahead and do this. Let's make it possible to make email interactive, uh, it a, much more of a, a functional thing, not just a message thing, and maybe <laughs> more people will. Come on board. It's what we see. Yeah. Because of, we see a uh, request. Okay. I like this email. How can do the same? Yeah. Yeah. So just, they just have to see such kind of email in the inbox. Yeah. 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 So if you know this curve for when there is uh, like uh, early adopters, uh, then yeah. followers and blah, 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 blah. Yeah, Roger, we yeah. have to go forward in this curve. Yes. We don't need to be only innovative. It has to be, I want to be like they do. Yeah. So what you're saying, what you're saying is to Jeffrey Moore's term, cross the chasm for, for interactive email to cross the chasm, perhaps a, a super mainstream, uh, platform, let's use MailChimp as an example, might, might push that. If you get enough people saying, why is my iPhone email, uh, less interesting and in- useful than, than my friend's Gmail yeah. on his Android. Okay. Exactly. And what usually uh, entrepreneurs and businesses do, they, they wait, wait till they see the signs that yeah. it's yeah. a good time to invest. Yeah. But I, I feel that, uh, as, as I love it, uh, I don't know, I, I kind of, uh, like email geek who, who feel responsibilities that email should not just should survive. It, mm-hmm. It's the best well, place to retain. Yeah. But if we don't change it, uh, the world is changing. People don't want to uh, wait for response, uh, I don't know, for more than sometimes 10 minutes. Yeah. They want to have immediate interactivity. Yeah, yeah. And they don't have to adopt. What Gmail does? Oh, I, I really like uh, the ideas of some Gmail innovations. Yeah. Like promotional tab. Uh, you know, uh, promotional tab in mobile first. They decided, okay, what is a promotional? Promotional, we have a lot of promotions. Some of them actual, some not. Some is good for you, some not. Let's do the best offers uh, on the top. Uh, but how we have to understand that it's not expired. They thought, okay, let's people uh, to add some annotation to email. Mm-hmm. Yeah, some party date or uh, promo code or 
value of your discount or some or image or gallery of image. If we have this, we can show them uh, in better way and more actual because of now it's ordered by delivery date, but it's not what our customer uh, expect for promotion. Right. Hmm. Yeah, for promotion, it's not very important for me. It was sent in minute earlier or after. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, but for this, we have to change the way how we provide information in email. So it's a promotion for one week or for one day or for this deal or for other deal. And Google can, uh, using AI, can predict what is, fits me better. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And maybe uh, change the order every time, trying to show one or other also when I'm in promotion. Uh, and uh, they did this uh, functionality. Nobody uses. Why? Because of they have to provide additional HTML yeah. with yeah. some markups, with some annotations. Yeah. yeah. On. But they don't see how even how to measure is up. Yeah. 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 Brian, uh, my, 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 another friend and colleague, Brian Sisolak, has done a ton of work trying to, trying to make Google annota- the annotations function more easy, more accessible. And I, I suspect he's a bit frustrated because there just doesn't seem to be a lot of traction. Yeah, but, but yeah, because if people have to see that it's easy, they should not learn, have to provide some parameters and it improves conversion, maybe only for Gmail, but yeah. maybe Apple can use this information yeah. if, if it has. Yeah. Maybe they don't need to render, but they can use this information. Yeah. But it's a different way how to operate with promotional and I like it. Yeah. Uh, and I like the idea that it have to be not only in mobile version, but in the stop version as well. Why not? Because of the standard, uh, very quickly, the standard uh, automatically filter email by social uh, uh, annotation, promo- uh, uh, promotional and uh, primary and blah, blah, blah. It became a standard. Yeah, everybody does this, the, st- the standard filters. So both of us are in the business of being entrepreneurs trying to bring some innovation and change to add to email. I find it frustrating. I'm finding the email space frustratingly slow to take up innovation. Reaction to that? Yes, exactly. Because of its very complicated infrastructure, a lot of stakeholders and players who doesn't work like a one big team. It's uh, so it's one team of email geeks, like marketers. They they are very strong, uh, solid, uh, and they know what they do, but they don't change the market. They are not uh, have ability to change uh, Gmail or something. Yeah. From other side, it's senders. Senders always waiting. Okay, till uh, should we invest money because of they have to invest money in a lot of things. Yeah. Why should I invest money into M? Because yeah. it's, I don't know how many, we spent more than a million on it. Uh, so uh, why should I spend my million for something Google would kill? Yeah. Because of it changed the, in the, it changed the world. And what, my, our internal mission to do things that change the world for better, even if it's so small thing like email. Email is not, uh, I, I really like Elon Musk. It's just not... Uh, new way to work with energy or uh, it's yeah. like not your know, not new vehicles yeah. nothing but it makes the world better it just push us forward mm-hmm. so i think we have to invest because of entrepreneur means somebody who applies yeah. something for changing yeah not just making the money yeah and if we do it successfully we will have a lot of money as well <laughs> <laughs> Well, like it, what, what Steve Jobs phrase, you make a dent in the universe. Yeah. <laughs> At least you make a dent, you make a dent in the universe. It, it is, uh, I mean, it's vastly complex. There's 300 and 320 billion emails sent around the planet every day. So to be fair, it is a big deal to try and bring, yeah, you're right. To try and bring change exactly. into a space like that. Yeah. We're, we're trying to make our own reusable rockets, right? <laughs> As you said. Uh. <laughs> Um, the same even for modules, you know, modules, uh, there is so obvious thing for yeah. industry that creates email more than 20 years, yeah. email emails more than 20 years. Yeah. Why? It happened yeah. only, so we started doing 
uh, five years ago, yeah, there were no motifs at all. No more. Wow, it's kind of trend. Interesting. Uh, it's kind of trend, but it's still very, very simple. It looks like people doesn't understand the model. It's like just snippet. No, model is not a snippet. Module is a new concept yeah. of thinking. Yeah, yeah. And yeah. Like, that, uh, we have a lot of spaces to improve. And there's always, a, in the evolution of a commercial space, there's always a, a dog and cat slide along the way because you, you'll get companies who think controlling, uh, you know, controlling a standard is the way to win. Um, and you'll get companies yeah. that say uh, rising tide lifts all the boats. If we all use this standard, then we can all do more stuff. And the <laughs> the the muscle and the budget of those parties is not always the same either. Exactly. Yeah. But I, so I, everybody wants to do better. Everybody. I'm sure that they don't block it only because of they. No, I don't don't want to make email life. Yes. Yeah. 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 Yeah, um, I'm I'm sensitive to sensitive to to your time, especially since it's probably later. What time is it there, by the way? Oh, it's fine. It's all oh, okay. Not uh, not too bad. We're o- opposite ends of the of the workday. Um, you mentioned CDP ESP and and sort of oh. ESP, both of those. Can you talk a bit about your your perspective on that evolution? Because Chris, Mary, and I just had a long conversation about that a couple weeks ago. Yeah, yeah, I see. So first, uh, I don't know even where to start because of, I think uh, that it, it would be, I already did um, uh, so, so have some story about the Elon Musk, yeah? yeah. Let, me, uh, let me continue this uh, for ESP, CDP evolution. Okay. Uh, so and, uh, anonymous driving. Uh, so... Uh, Everybody would like to create the system when marketer defines a goal. Yeah. So say, I would like to have more money and system became to work and do everything and just bring you money mm-hmm. uh, in retention, in engagement, uh, in, uh, in all this area, in conversion uh, or something. But, uh, everybody would say that it's, it's not possible. It's not possible because of uh, the same. They said that it's not possible when you in map say, I want my car to drive to walk to this place. It cannot happen because there are so many unpredictable things can happen on the road. You cannot control all of them because of they are just unpredictable. And I see, okay, can we do the same evolution as Musk uh, did with a car at anonymous driving? Uh, in uh, email system, what have to be changed? And I try to uh, answer for a question. Okay, where is the map? It's we have like a map, Google map, yeah, where we can say we want to reach this place. Mm-hmm. Do we have the same map for marketers? Can they define the goal? The system can understand, mm. and uh, when they understand, uh, they can just go forward. And in anonymous driver, it was not in one day. First, it just cruise controls and adoptive con- cruise controls and some limitation just on a, a highway then mm-hmm. in a city. Uh, so it's a lot of uh, steps. But this is a goal and we understand uh, how to change the system. There is only one trend uh, in ESP is personalization. This trend 20 years ago, this trend now, this trend will be in the next 20 years, personalization. We just think differently what personalization is. Early, it will just use your name uh, in communication. Now we use much more data. And why CDP happened? Because of CDP is four steps, yeah? Data gathering, profile unification, segmentation, and activation using different channels. Data gathering became a very important part. We have a lot of data from all the data sources. The next part, just to understand this data for the same person, and we can trust this data. And then we have to use this data for personalization. Uh, to, for achieving our objectives, to achieve our goals. And I think like uh, the next step in evolution is P to CDP. And then it's a, it will be for, in, in my understanding, it's like goal-driven marketing. What I see from a lot of customers uh, we serve in the around the world, it's like a campaign-driven marketing. They optimize in campaign, welcome campaign. They optimize in things like uh, 
uh, I don't know, abundant cards campaign. Uh, campaign. And we have a lot of campaigns. And sometimes they're even in conflict because of sending a lot of messages, because yeah. we have a lot of campaigns that started at the same time. And when they started, when we have a trigger, and when we have a trigger, when user do something. So when user do, he has a lot of notifications. They're not prioritized. It's very hard to manage all of them and understand what he would receive if, if something happened. So I think uh, this way, like a campaign driven, have to be changed into goal driven. But for this, goal have to be defined. It's a different kind. Uh, and there is evolution as well. First. When we define a goal and the system can suggest something, can suggest, okay, we have several uh, things we plan to send to this customer. I think this message has to be delivered, uh, maybe delivered by email, maybe as a part of promotional email, uh, other email, digest email, some message. So we don't need to deliver the email, we have to deliver a message. And if email sent, but not read, it means that message is not delivered. We don't need to think about the, I don't know, level of uh, hardware that email is on your side. Email have to be in your head. So message have to be in your head. Uh, I'm not very accurate in uh, all my paradigms, but uh, how I, because if I trying to be very quick, very, uh, but the idea that I have uh, my framework, how to define goal, and I see the steps. The first step is just benchmarking and suggestions. So, okay, maybe you have to do this. Uh, maybe you have an opportunity, you have this audience that never contacted because of something, but they have a potential because of they visit your site, because of they buy some, because of they read SMS, but you communicate with them, uh, I don't know. They have a mobile, but you don't send for them mobile pushes. So it should not be only email. So it never can be ESP. Or ESP has to be rena renamed. You know, it was in animation of uh, email summit. Uh, they renamed ESP into every channel service provider. So not email anymore. Yeah. Because of uh, it's the channel is not people. So we have to contact our customers. We have to contact people, any channel. Right, and when somebody uh, say me, okay, email will die. Okay, no problem. Uh, email will die. Some other channel would uh, use the same techniques, the same practices, the same data, the same messages, maybe in different format. So, and at the moment, I see that email performs because of it's the richest format we can communicate. Maybe email clients have to be changed. Yeah. Uh, infrastructure it definitely will be because of what is changed. But the way how we can do with email, the cheapest, the easiest, easy to measure, easy to do everything. Maybe it's another topic, uh, how easy to measure, but because of this. Uh... <laughs> we, we, could pick on, we could pick on Apple again in that conversation. Well, that, is, uh, that is a heck of a vision. Well put. Well put. Uh, yeah. Yeah. So you brought up the thing. What's that? Is it you that excuse me, uh, is one of the things is that like in new dashboards, we have to provide new map. Mm, very, yeah. very, very easy to see where is the traffic jam, yeah. where is your call, where something happened on the road, where, I don't yeah. know, how to build new way. Yeah, 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 you're, yeah, you're, you're right, man. That's a, that's a good, uh, that's a good uh, metaphor to encapsulate it in. Tricky job. It's going to take all of us working together, isn't it? Yeah, it is, it, but it's an interesting job. And and <laughs> not the more, never dull. The most, uh, I don't know, the something that inspired me, uh, you don't need to provide the final result uh, right. in the, for the deadlines. There are a lot of steps. Maybe uh, this uh, final destination would not be achieved uh, for, I don't know, in my life. Right. But I know the steps, how to be closer. Yeah. And I think I'm, I'm, I'm very sure that it's possible to uh, be on this place. Because of marketer should not think again about technical stuff. Yeah. How to send message. He should think about the message. You know, all this, everybody says the rule of eight R, seven R, four R. So right message to the right person in the right moment of time, using the right channel, in the right context, with the right frequency, a lot of, a lot of right. A lot of words. 
we can we can measure them. We can optimize them. Yeah, uh, and we can uh, because of more uh, more words, more knowledge. Yeah, and more thing you have to keep under control. You have to delegate this work. Yeah, and uh, caring about important thing uh, and not operation. Well, that is a good note to end on. That's, uh, uh-huh. that's really awesome. I'm so glad we had this conversation. Um, what's uh, what's the next month look like there? I, I, we talked about it before we started recording here that um, that uh, uh, concern about a possible nuclear incident is not is pretty close to you, right? It is 100 uh, kilometers. 100 kilometers away. So you're literally r- ready to hop in the car and get out of Dodge if necessary, huh? Yeah, I think uh, really you should never uh, run. Uh, you just need to stay uh, in the closed area uh, just with the closed windows, uh, with the water. Just wait first till uh, it's gone and then move <laughs> because of it's not possible to leave there. I hope it would never happen. Yeah. And I don't see the real, uh, the like rational reasons why it should happen. Yeah. Uh, but you know, uh, when you have a monkey with a uh, weapon. Uh, yeah. Yeah. A monkey with a coconut here, right? Big, big nuclear coconut. Yeah. Let's so, hope that. Uh, well, I, you know, Dimitri, I hope we can have this uh, opportunity to talk in about six months and hopefully we're post-war and and watching Ukraine reinvent itself. Uh, you guys have done a remarkable things thus far. Thank you. And whole world supports us. We feel it. We yes. appreciate it. And it will be our common uh, like a victory. And I believe only in victory. There is no other way. So we'll close. We'll close on that. My guest has been Dmitry Kudrenko, CEO of Stripo and a few other companies. Stripo.com, if someone's curious, correct? Stripo.email. 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 I should have known that. Dmitry, I'm going to hit pause on the record, but thank you for the time. Thank you. It was a pleasure.